Today we continue a conversation around how we keep hope alive as we believe God that this is the year that we shall mount up with wings as eagles. One critical aspect that we need to understand is that the God who has given us a promise watches over every promise he has given to keep us. And so we are celebrating that he, he has the sovereign rule. He rules over all. And the Bible says in the book of Jeremiah 14 and verse number 22, Are there any among the false gods of the nations that can bring rain? Or can the heavens give showers? Are you not he, O Lord, our God? We set our hope on you, for you do all these things. So what we are learning in this passage, that our sovereign God does all things. And I want you to grasp firmly to the promise that we have in God. Because the God that we believe in is a God that never fails. The Bible says, cursed is the man that trusted in man. But blessed is the man that trusted in the Lord. In fact, the Bible says he shall be like a tree planted by the water's side. And that tree will grow and flourish. As we think about what is going on around us, let us not lose hope in the fact that it is God who rules over all. And that's why that passage of scripture is so key. It says, are you not he, O Lord, our God? And we a declaration, we set our hope on you. For you do all these things. God does all things. So it is him that we trust in. So as we talk about how we keep hope alive, how we celebrate that God is sovereign, it is incumbent on each one of us to connect our faith and confidence in God and to know that this God that we trust rules over all. And he also has the power to determine tomorrow because he holds it. I know we are all busy rebuilding from some of the ramification of COVID-19. And I want us to be those that will voice our hope and trust in God, even how he is going to subdue this pandemic. Let us not be influenced by the godless who sometimes make confession, predicting uh, things that are not right. But let us be those that give hope to Kenyans that the end of this COVID, not only in Kenya but out the world, God's power will bring it down because he is God. Let's trust him in the journey of recovery. Our, our nation is experiencing the, the ramification of, 20, uh, of, of 2020 with the lockdowns and all that happened, but we must trust God. Father, we pray that you remember every man, every woman who listened to this script anywhere this video clip, whether it is in, in, in Africa or overseas, that they will understand that you are God and you are the one who is mighty and everlasting in Jesus' name. Amen.